Hiya, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to restore previous versions of the registry in Windows 7. Now first off we need to uh, disable the UAC, so we need to go down to the All button there and type UAC and this will give us access to the user account control. And By default it's normally here but I've already disabled mine and to disable it temporarily you can just bring that straight down and apply or OK and restart the system it will prompt you to restart but I've already disabled mine okay once we've done that we're ready to go we need to go to my computer C Drive Windows and then System32 and then into config now as you can see we've got a load of files inside here and they're all locked these files are for the registry and as you can see we've got default SAM security software and system okay these are the uh, the registry that we're interested in but what we're going to do is right click in the space over here and then from there go properties and then we want to go previous version now you see me use this before in uh, our previous videos so go previous version now this loads up all the config folders for today, yesterday and earlier this week. Okay, so what we can do here, we can actually access say for instance this one here and click open and once we open that it gives us access to these files. Okay, and this is the reason why we had to disable the UAC because they were locked but without that we can now actually access them. Now we can either take them all or we can actually just take the ones we need. So if you wanted to copy them all, you could actually just copy the SAM folder and also the uh, default security software and system. Okay, but what happens if you just wanted just a couple? If there was just a registry key that you just wanted to replace? We well, can do that as well. I'm just going to extract these two, software and system. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do there is uh, copy these and I'm going to put these into my C root directory just make a folder in there called uh, backup that'll do and I'm going to paste them in there and over they come so now we have these registry files we need to load up a hive so we can actually see what they are okay and in that what we're going to do is actually access these files by going into the registry and then loading them. Okay, so let's uh, go to our C drive, and here we have our uh, files. And what we're going to do is load this up into the uh, registry here. And what we need to do is go reg edit in the run bar down the bottom there. Click on this. This opens up our registry, as you can see. And from here we can actually load this up by actually click, clicking on uh, HK Local Machine and then we can go to here and then Load Hive. Once we click on Load Hive, just move that to there, go to um, our C drive and then back up. And we can load one of these up if we wanted to. So we could actually do software if we wanted to. Click like open. Call it a name. And we're going to just call this whatever you like. You can call it test or anything you like. Um, just so we can see it. I'll call mine Brytech. So I can see it there. Click OK. And as you can see there, it's now loaded this hive up you can see it called Brytech and this gives us full access to all these files now you remember that program I showed you about uh, Shadow Explorer well I do like Shadow Explorer better because it's less hassle you don't have to load it all up but it's pretty uh, another just another way of doing things but as you can see we can extract these now if we wanted to and copy that into our new registry if we wanted to okay so that's how you actually explore previous registry files in Windows 7. Okay, so I hope you enjoy these videos. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. 
If you do enjoy the videos, please remember hit the subscribe button, guys. And uh, if you haven't been over the forums yet, head over to the forums, register over there, and uh, I shall see you over there. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.